What's wrong, Mourinho? What's up, buddy? You're not walking off the pitch early today, mate. You stayed to the final whistle, did you? <laughs> oh, gosh, gosh. Anyways, lads, I'm here to do the review. United against Chelsea at Old Trafford. Marvellous game, to say the least. Definitely had drama from start to finish. What an unbelievable game. Um, but... Lads, this game was uh, definitely, definitely um, a game of two halves. I thought, for, before the game even kicked off, let me just say that, we had bad news uh, for Manchester United that uh, Radamel Falcao and Phil Jones weren't even on their bench. They weren't even going to play today. And right from the get-go, I thought, geez, we're definitely going to be pushing shit uphill today. But in fair to Chelsea, they had Diego Costa, who I thought 100% was going to start. So he didn't play even. Uh, he didn't play also. So I guess you could say it was definitely evened out. But anyways, uh, as the game uh, started, lads, I thought we... In that first half, lads, we're uh, definitely, definitely the better side in that first half. Uh, definitely much better. We came out much better than I thought we were ever going to come out. Yeah, Chelsea did have possession. They had a shitload of corners, but they didn't really do anything. Don't get me wrong, they had a few chances. We had a few chances in that first half, but at half time it was nil-nil, and I thought in that first half we definitely got the better of Chelsea. But being that this is a Jose Mourinho side, I thought, you know, they're definitely going to come out for the second half. We've got to be uh, wary of that. We're going to be up for it. And I thought, you know, maybe, maybe with a Van Hal speech at halftime, he'll be aware of this also. But uh, we just fell asleep after halftime. And uh, that's when the game really got interesting in that second half. Um, Hazard in the, first, in the second half came out, played a nice one-two with Didier Drogba and split... <laughs> Our defence, like a banana. Uh, went one-on-one -on -one with De Gea. And David De Gea made probably one of the best saves you'll see this season. Unbelievable save. Right there and then, Chelsea should have been up 1-0. But, uh, I don't know Eden Hazard. He played A-OK. -okay. He was nothing fantastic. You know, in my opinion, I'm going to be very honest here. Eden Hazard is a wonderful player. But very overrated, in my opinion. Yes, he's a wonderful, wonderful player. He's really talented. But he goes missing a lot. You know, he'll do these wonderful these wonderful things against these shit sides. But then he'll go missing for a few games. Eden Hazard, everyone's calling, you know, like Gareth Bale. Like, well, let me tell you, Gareth Bale would have finished that chance. Gareth Bale, you know, scored goals for fun week in, week out. I don't see Eden Hazard doing that. And there's no chance in the world that Eden Hazard was on Gareth, uh, Gareth Bale's level. No chance. But anyways, in saying that, Chelsea had the corner. Uh, Didier Drogba, Raphael marking him. What was going on there? You just knew it was bad news. Um, good goal to uh, Didier Drogba off the head. Again, uh, Chelsea scored from a corner. Uh, Chelsea, I read a stat today. Chelsea had uh, six of the most tallest players out on the pitch bar Fellaini. So uh, definitely, definitely Chelsea had the uh, bigger, stronger uh, men out there. And it showed. It really showed. In that first half, yes. In that first half, I forgot to mention as well, Chelsea could have got a penalty. Could have got a penalties. But so many games this season, you see wrestling matches between so many different players that aren't given. It goes both ways. But in saying that, it, they didn't get a penalty in that first half. Uh, second half, they got the um, goal. And ever since Chelsea got that goal, Jose Mourinho, this is where he fucked up big time. Jose Mourinho... Being the uh, negative manager that he is, the tactical magician, uh, shut up shop. Just shut up shop completely. Chelsea playing keepings off, weren't even attacking that much. Don't get me wrong, they still did have a few chances to kill the game off, but you can see clearly they didn't want to kill that game off. They just, he bring on Mikel to tighten up that midfield, you know, bring off Oscar, you know, and, and to be fair to uh, Jose Mourinho, they, that plan was going well, it was going to fruition. And uh, we just, for one thing I was uh, disappointed with was with our, when we went 1 0 down, was our lack of drive to win the ball back. We were just happy for Chelsea to get the ball and knock it back in the defence. You know, John Terry to Cahill and back in the midfield. And there was no press, there was no drive, and I was so disappointed. That's why I really wanted Herrera to come on because he would have changed things up, in my opinion. But uh, that didn't happen. Wilson came on, and uh, not, and this is all the drama started, lads. Not too long. Um, I think, uh, who came off for Zuma? I'm not too sure. William came off for Zuma. 90th minute and you think, well, you know, Chelsea have done it again. Boring, boring Chelsea. Get one goal, shut up shop, and they're just going to take all three points. Uh, not to be, Ivanovic gets himself sent off. 
Clearly, I fell a yellow card in the first half. Clearly, clipped Di Maria right at the end there. Clearly, a, ye a second yellow card. No, it was not a straight red. It was a second yellow, deservedly red card. And uh, it was in the 94th minute, the 95th minute. Uh, Di Maria had a free kick, whose delivery this game was okay, but from corners was very disappointing. Um, so up steps up, Di Maria whips in a uh, free kick, and Fellaini, what a game Marouane Fellaini played today. Unbelievable. Could have scored the winner there and then, but it wasn't meant to be. Caught up with an unbelievable save, and Robin Van Persie steps up. Good ten. Robin Van Persie puts it in the old onion bag, and buries it. 1-0. Cop that, Jose Mourinho, you negative bastard. But um, saying that, Robin Van Persie, lads, lately getting unfair criticism. Unbelievable unfair criticism, in my opinion. He's been holding up the ball for us, playing so isolated out front on his own. And that's not the type of player he is. But this game, doing the same things, having the same chances. And finally, luck broke for Robin Van Persie. And you can see the passion. You can see the character in this team that things are going to be good. I've been saying in my last uh, few uh, reviews lately that I'm not worried about these two tour two, two draws with uh, West Brom. I'm not that upset because I can see we're building towards something. And you've seen it again today, lads. We could if, if this was David Moyes, if this was us last, se uh, last season, we would put our heads down. We would have got rolled 3 or 4 nil by Chelsea. Not in this game. I thought we were fantastic. Showed some ticker. Showed some heart. And I can see slowly Fergie times coming back. I can see slowly that when the 90th minute's coming and we haven't got a result, we are pushing, we are pushing, we are pushing. And that was so missing of all the last season. We've seen it against last week against West Brom. We've seen it again today. Hopefully next week, lads, we can see it against City as well. Um, but in saying that, we finished strong. Uh, Rooney missing... We got him back next week. Falcao, hopefully he'll be back with Phil Jones next week. Hopefully Herrera starts next week against City. You know, things are looking good at United. Yes, we did play a half-decent Chelsea seat. Oh, to be honest, more than a half-decent. We, we played the champions today. I don't care what anyone says. Chelsea are the 2014-15 Premier League champions. They're so organised. They're so... Um, they're, they're a typical Jose Mourinho side. Once they get Diego Costa back, you know, they're going to be unbelievable to stop. But in saying that, lads, we've got a, un, uh, we've got a fair result, in my opinion, a, a draw. We didn't deserve nothing less than a draw today, not in my opinion. Um, there we go, guys. Got to keep it short and sweet for today. A one old draw against the champions. Um, pretty pleased with that. Now we go away to Etihad against City, and then we've got a game against Arsenal two games after that. So, uh... Happy days for United. Anyways, I'm your boy Curtis7. Stay tuned until uh, more videos come out. Take care. Peace.